Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I want to talk about creative writing classes, but especially in relation to how they are viewed by Elizabeth Gilbert in Big Magic. In this book, Elizabeth Gilbert says that you don't need creative writing classes in order to become a writer. And this is completely true. Most of the people that you see who have made something from their writing and are quite famous writers have never had a creative writing lesson in their lives. They are just interested in writing and they have learnt everything they have learned from the books they have read. Whilst this is true, I do worry that this book does sometimes fall onto the side of disparaging creative writing classes. And whilst I understand that they do take a lot of money from people who want to live creatively and it's a bit of an impact on their budget that they don't need, I want to discuss them in terms of how creative writing classes actually helped me with my writing. Way back in 2010, I began my creative writing course at uni. And before that, I hadn't planned on going to university. I had no intentions of attending a creative writing class because whilst I didn't think that I had learnt everything there was to learn about creative writing, I didn't want the debt that came from university and I didn't particularly want to spend any more time in education. Sadly, I went to a sixth form school that told you that you had to apply to uni and you had to go. Even then, I ended up having to apply to creative writing courses across the country because the enrichment program that I was on was that was that was what you did. You went, you applied to uni, and whilst I know that I didn't have to go, I didn't have to take the placement. Ultimately, I ended up doing through pressures from people that I worked with and pressures from the family who were all for me going to university and learning creative writing because to a lot of people they see creative writing courses and they imagine that most writers have been on them and most people need that in their lives and because of this pressure I went to university, I did creative writing and I myself actually ended up getting something from that course that I didn't think I'd get. I got to discover writers I didn't know about, I got to finally actually work with more writers than I've ever worked with before and get to make some friends. It wasn't until my second year in which I discovered radio plays that I realised that there was a whole wealth of creativity that I wasn't tapping into in the form of radio plays and in the form of my comedy because I have always loved comedy, I have loved watching it and it's the thing that I will reach for most because I'm not gonna lie I can't cope with the serious things on television. It brings me down and it's not the type of thing that I like to have in my life. And it takes a lot of energy out of me to watch that. And also comedy is usually a lot shorter and I feel whenever I'm watching something that I'm wasting time if it's not to do with writing or reading. Which is something that I have tried to get rid of but it is still there at the back of my mind. And all throughout my career as a writer I have had this comedic voice there that I've always stifled because I always thought that it read amateurish and I always thought that it was poor. And it was only when I started this creative writing class and I was listening to these radio plays and I was looking more at the television that I was watching, so specifically this was a script writing class I should say that, that I realised where I could put that comedic energy. And I can remember one class specifically because it wasn't the script writing class, it was another class. I was incredibly bored one day and I can't remember what we were working on but I just started writing my radio play and by the end of the few hours that I was at university that day I had written the first episode of my radio play. I wrote an entire radio script series entitled Charity Begins that was a comedy set in a charity shop based on my own experiences working at a charity shop but also bringing in all of my influences and inspirations from my comedic heroes Victoria Ward, Roy Clark, Alan Bennett, they're all up there and Alan Bennett is a really big inspiration to me, the same as Victoria Ward but these are the three writers that I always hold up as my heroes when it comes to writing. Because of them, because of creative writing classes, I allowed myself to work in comedy. I finally managed to write our Doris, and indisputably Doris, and those books would not be around had I not gone to create a writing class. 
and I just have this fear that this book here, whilst it doesn't say anything negative towards creative writing classes further than you don't need it, I feel like there are some writers who would benefit from a creative writing class. I do feel like there are definitely some writers out there who haven't yet found their voice and they haven't yet learned the skills or the necessary or they haven't learned to not fear things and fear is something else that I want to talk about in relation to this book and I do agree that Elizabeth Gilbert does do a great part in talking about how you can't live with fear if you want to be a writer but I do think that should you wish to do a creative writing course you shouldn't now, based on this book, be scared to actually do it because whilst you don't need it and it isn't necessary and whilst there are many different creative writing courses out there that are going to help you in different ways and you would have to research what you want from your writing before you go I do think they can be quite helpful. Whilst I never went to do a master's and I don't think I will ever do a master's in creative writing I've toyed with it every year since I left uni but I just don't think it's for me. I know people who have gone on to do that and who have got a lot more out of doing it and there are people out there who whilst they also want to be writers they also want to help. I just happen to be in the position that I am a secretary to, to a creative writing group and we all run workshops ourselves so I always get the chance to actually help writers in other ways and whilst I did belong to a writing forum before I went to university this was the first time that I actually got to critique people face to face. I didn't develop any tact, I still did incredibly harsh critiques that might have lost me friends and might have meant that people never want to work with me again in future, but what can you do? I will never not be a harsh critiquer and people will always get annoyed with me, people will always decide to hate me for it, but that is why I'm here. I am not critiquing you as a person, I am critiquing your work and that is something for another video. I do think that creative writing classes can be very important. They have been somewhat important to me throughout my writing career now and I have learned a lot because of them. Yes, you have to go into creative writing courses with a small set of skills. Yes, you are going to be critiqued if you don't employ those skills well. And yes, I didn't actually learn to completely forget all of the rules until I left university. But a university creative writing course taught me the rules and taught me that I would be able to break them eventually. And once I left, I broke the rules. I wrote two, two books that I'm extremely proud of, that I think of the best as the best work that I've ever written, and that came from that course. I know some people don't benefit from these courses, but I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about this book. And I'm just saying that if you want to do the course, you should do the course, and probably agreeing somewhat with Elizabeth Gilbert, but I just don't think that you should worry if you ever read this book that people are going to, I mean, people are going to look down at you, anything you do in your writing at all, and people are going to enjoy your writing. It's a terrible thing, but it's just because everybody has an opinion, and you're going to have to learn to live with that if you want to make anything as a writer, but that's for a different video. Anyway, please do feel free to discuss everything that I've mentioned here in the comments below because that is why I'm creating these videos because whilst I'm not reviewing the book I do want to discuss the book with people so yes I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time that is all.